So the last thing we're going to do in our week six tutorial for the Web Publishing One class is we're going to put a background image on this web page that we have underway. So where we last left it, we had created a wrapper and we had done a couple of things. So here's our style sheet. Here's our actual HTML. And just to make this look a little better, uh, because I have very little content in the wrapper right now, I'm going to actually give it a height so it takes up more space on the page and as I said it's going to make the um, what we're going to do with an image um, make more sense when we have more to work with. Um, as you add comment to the page that will naturally start to get bigger, add content to the page. Um, yeah, you know, actually, I think I'll even go back and make it 600 pixels. So, and that gives us that. All right, so what I want to do is, that uh, background is a little bit boring. It'd be nice if there were something in the background. And if you watch the tutorial on optimizing images for the web, you could, of course, um, make your own images um, by taking selections from photographs or you could create patterns in Illustrator or there's a number of things you could do and if you want to do that feel free. Um, I'm going to show you another thing that might be something you want to think about which is uh, there are a lot of sites online where you can download background images for free. They're often called background tiles but a lot of them are really really cheesy and actually a lot of the sites are filled with advertising and they're really annoying. So there's one I ran across recently, it's called Subtle Patterns and it is exactly what it sounds like. SubtlePatterns.com free textures for your website and let's just look at a couple of them to get a sense of it. Uh, there is this wood grain, if you like that. I'm not a big fan myself, but it looks like that. So there's that pattern in use. And you notice it repeats seamlessly, so you don't see the tile edges. When you're making your own, it's really, you have to put some effort into um, creating a seamless tile that doesn't show the edges. And there are plenty of tutorials online that will teach you how to do that. But for now, let's just pick one of these that somebody has already developed for us. Uh, you know, here's a nice pinstripe suit look. Uh, let's preview that. Um, appealing, but not for my shark site. So let's go back and see if thumbnails, let's scroll down here. I want something that's um, maybe if it's got a little color that would be nice. Here's maybe a little wavy thing, maybe kind of watery. Um, there's some little birds. I don't think I want to go with birds for my shark site. That might lead to some problems. Um, so what I'm looking for is something that's somewhat organic looking. Um, to fit with my shark motif. Uh, Steve Jobs RIP, I don't think I'm going to do that one. Um, and I'm not sure, maybe there aren't any color. Oh wait, there's a green one. Hmm, doesn't look very sharky though. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. But as you can see, some pretty nice, oh that might be sort of sharky. Um, Let's try this one. Preview. It's going to look like that. Let's see what my... Okay. Let's see. Where is my... Come back. There's my Facebook page. Uh-oh. Busted. Um, okay, here. All right, so that green and this green, not going to work. So, okay, so the green's not going to be good. It's too bad. It was a nice gr nice green, but not going to fit with mine. I guess I could change mine, but um, for now. All right, let's cut to the chase. I'm just going to use this sort of wavy, wavy pattern um, because it's vaguely watery. Uh, I'll click Download. 
there it is you can see it with the size of the tile so that's what re what's repeating that little tile and I'm gonna right click on it save image as we have cut PNG so let me put that in let's see where is the assignment week six there we go I haven't set up yet a uh, so why don't I do that let me set up an images folder for there put it wave cut PNG goes in there boom all right it's there and so let's put it to use all right so pretty simple what we're going to do is we're going to go to the style sheet we did do this in class so you'll probably remember we're going to go to the style sheet and I want to have that background cover the entire visible area which is the body so we've got a background color of white if the image doesn't appear we'll see white which is okay and now I'm going to put in background image and colon and then we do URL because we're going to give it a path to find that image and then in parentheses that's where we put the path so if I go back to my site here let me just open that one up um, we're working in this folder called midterm project oh no we're not Yes, we are. Yeah, we're working on this project called Midterm Project. Um, okay, and there we are, Images folder. So, I'm on the index page here in the folder called Midterm Project. Uh, right now, my Images folder is outside of that, which really doesn't make sense. It should be in here. So, let me do that. That's where it ought to be. Come on. Get in there. Okay. So now I have in my midterm project, there's my template that I used to start with. There's the index file itself. There's a style sheet, and now I have my images folder. Okay, so that's good. So the path name, we are here at the style sheet, and we want to get here so that what I'll do is I'm going to do what I would suggest you do, which is do a cut and paste. Select that, or copy and paste, rather. Um, paste that in there and if you're paying attention you know that's not going to work because that file is inside a folder called images so my path name actually needs to be images wave cut and I'm going to use the single quote marks to set that off I think those are optional but it's the way I've learn to do it and so I'm going to stick with it. Um, let me save that and let's see what we have. And let me save that. It looks like I didn't save that recently. So let's go back, open that up in here, and now you can see I've got that nice subtle pattern. Uh, now my color looks really lousy. I really am not liking that color anymore. And in fact at this point, because I don't have a better choice, I'm going to just kill that wrapper color and make it white because for the time being that's going to look better at some point obviously you want to give some thought to this and not just kind of flail around the way I'm doing okay but I think that looks a little better so that's a background image that's it that's all there is to it um, if you're using a tiling image a small image it's going to repeat automatically uh, there are ways we can change that so that it does not repeat, but we're not going to deal with that today in this tutorial. Um, you can also, if you remember what we did in class, <coughs> or the demo I did in class, you can put, put one big background image. That's a little bit trickier just because you have to deal with that issue of the image size so that you don't want to get a humongous image size. And obviously a big background image tends to be a large file size. So um, I would suggest to start off with, you try and do background tiles, either ones that you find online that are free to download, um, or if you want to learn how to make your own, I would try this. Um, let's see, what we want to do is find a tutorial background tile Photoshop 
Uh, here's first one comes up, seamless repeating tile background. Um, and let's see what this one looks like. I'm not liking that site. It seems to have a lot of advertising on it, which is usually the kind of thing I want to stay away from. So that's not working so well. Download package. Okay, well, here we go. Step one. There it is. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. So that might be worth... Um, the other thing that might also be good if we went to YouTube, might even be a better way to find this. And we just look for seamless background tile photo shop. I suspect we'll get a few possibilities with that. Um, here's one. It's a two-minute tutorial. That seems pretty good. Here's one that's five-minute tutorial. So if you want to try to make your own, check out. Here's a seven-minute one, four-minute one. So you can see these are all fairly short, so it's not too tough. So if you want to give it a try, test one of these videos. If you find a good one, please post um, on our... Um, let's see, can we post it on the discussion board? Where could we post it? Mention it in class, post it on the discussion board. Um, although, how will we find it? Now, Send me a send me a link if you find a good one of these, and I'll post it on our website, on our Blackboard site. Okay, anyway, so that's how if you want to do your own. But um, as I said, Subtle Patterns is a good site to find some tiles you could use and add a background to your page. All right, that's it. Have fun.